So y'all know I'm really excited about decorating my house, right? But it was something that God placed on my heart and I just wanted to like tell y'all about it because I had to write it down. I was looking real bad when I was decorating and stuff doing my house. I had on a roll. I was like, I can't make no video like this. But I had to put it in my phone because I said I want to remember this so I can make a video about it because the way that he just like dropped it in my spirit, I was like, somebody else got to hear this. So I've been wanting to spice up my house for a while. When I moved to Atlanta, first I moved into an apartment. <clears throat> the apartment was not what I expected. So me and my cousin decided to find a place to live and we ended up finding a nice townhouse. Now, when I moved down here initially, I didn't have money to like buy new furniture. I sold my house and I used my the money that I had to live basically so i was like you know the old furniture i got good we good it's okay like i need this money to be able to live so what happened was i just let my vision die down like i know what i knew what it is that i wanted like the type of environment that i wanted to live in how i wanted my furniture to look how i wanted to decorate but I couldn't, I, I didn't have those things in the moment. I didn't have the money to go and buy um, new couches, new um, home decor furniture is expensive. So when you're going and you're furnishing, you're furnishing a multiple bedroom house, it's expensive. So I allowed that to kind of like stop me, right? In that moment, I was, instead of doing piece by piece, what I did was I was just like, when I move into another house, I'll be able to decorate. But I, I should have allowed myself to piece by piece build what it is that I desire. So in that moment, he placed in my heart that I didn't fully embrace where I was in the moment. So I still felt like I was... You know, I still go back and forth home. I live in Atlanta, but, you know, uh, I don't really live in Atlanta. But I really lived here. And so I didn't want to become, to make my space comfortable. I didn't want to make my space welcoming for me because I felt like I didn't fully embrace that I was here, that I was actually living here for real. So now the second thing was, I mean, the, the next thing was, um, that was number two. Number one was I didn't have the money when I first moved. Number two was I didn't accept where I was when I first moved. So I didn't put piece by piece together. Once I started putting piece by piece together and actually moving, like doing the things, like I started with my bedroom and I was like, okay, I'm going to make this my sanctuary. I'm going to make it how I want it to be really nice and add all the little things and get little plants and accessories and all that stuff for my bathroom and bedroom. So I started there and I did little piece by piece. And now I'm about to finish and do everything in my living room, um, redid my office. I'm redoing my office currently. So it's like back then I couldn't see, I could see the vision, but I didn't move towards it. So I was stuck. I wasn't moving. You can't be stuck. You have to always move. Regardless of what it is you see, you know what it is that you desire, you're never going to get there if you don't move. So you have to take piece by piece and step by step and just little by little do things, right? That makes the bigger goal. It helps you reach the bigger goal. The last thing is I had um, lots of old baggage that I literally had within the house. This is not the last thing. I had within the house lots of um, things that I was just holding on to for no reason, like just little small things that just I wasn't using has been here forever and can be thrown away. Right. So I went through and I started clearing out my space. Literally, I cleared out my space. Um, I was cleaning out drawers. I was throwing stuff away out of rooms that I didn't need, giving stuff away. So I was making room for the new, for what was coming into my life, the new things. I couldn't put new furniture into a house that had so much old junk in it. And it wasn't like literally just junk, but it's just little things that just piled up that like I didn't have to have in my house. So it's like, how can I want something new or how can I even accept what's new coming if I don't make room for what's to come? 
So all of those things were dropped in my spirit when I was cleaning up. And I just wanted to share those with y'all. I hope that resonated with somebody. I hope it helped somebody. Um, little by little, take step by step. See the vision. Never allow it to leave your sight, but always move and work towards it. So never become complacent or stagnant because you feel like you don't know how that's going to happen in that moment. And you feel like you don't know when it's going to happen. It doesn't matter when it's going to happen. You got to take baby steps towards what it is that you want to happen and accept where you are. It's okay if you're not where you want to be. That's okay. Accept where you are. You can evolve. You can grow. It's all up to you. It's your world. It's your book. You write it. You. You write the chapters, as people always say, and you really do. You have you can't allow other people to put their fears, their frustrations, their anything onto you, because then that'll stop you from moving. So you just got to continue moving, listen to God, pray, do what you have to do. And yeah, I hope that helps somebody. Love y'all. See y'all later.